Rescue breathing is mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, a form of artificial ventilation, is the act of assisting or stimulating respiration in which a rescuer presses his or her mouth against that of the victim and blows air into the person's lungs. If you are going to perform rescue breaths, it is important to have a good technique to ensure the victim's airway is open and you do not over inflate the victim's lungs. Let's take a closer look at how to perform rescue breathing as part of CPR. Tilt the casualty's head back again and lift his chin. Leave one hand on the casualty's forehead. Pinch the casualty's nostrils with your thumb and forefinger. With your other hand, keep the chin lifted and allow the mouth to open. Breathe in normally, bend forwards and place your mouth entirely over the casualty's mouth. Blow air into the mouth evenly and at the same time check that the chest is rising. Take about 1 second for breath. Keep the casualty's head tilted and continue to apply the chin lift. Lift your head to check that the chest falls again when breathing out. Breathe in normally again and give the second rescue breath. Reposition your hands properly and continue with another 30 chest compressions. Let's have a look at few of the techniques for rescue breathing apart from mouth to mouth. Mouth to nose ventilation is a good alternative if mouth to mouth ventilation is difficult or not possible. Mouth to nose is used where the casualty has sustained facial injuries that preclude using the mouth. For infants, mouth to nose and mouth is the preferred method. When breathing into a young child, ensure that you modify the force of the breaths. The method to be employed for infants is frog breathing or puffing. There will be adequate pressure and volume to satisfy the lungs requirement but not enough to impact on the stomach. Lastly, mouth to mask is the most desirable method for rescue breaths as it lessens the risk of cross infection and is more acceptable to many people than mouth to mouth. It is easy to make mistakes when giving rescue breaths. Here's a roundup of the most common mistakes we see. The patient's airway needs to be open before rescue breaths can be given. The airway needs to be maintained whilst the rescue breath is being given, otherwise the breath will not be effective. A complete seal needs to be made over the patient's mouth. If using a CPR face mask or pocket mask, this device needs to be used correctly in order to prevent air leaking out of the side rather than being forced into the patient's lungs. Never over inflate a casualty's lungs. Each breath should take around 1 second and stop the moment you see the chest rise. Over inflation can cause air to enter the stomach and cause aspiration of stomach con Current guidelines recommend 2 rescue breath attempts. Do not give more than 2 rescue breath attempts before resuming chest compressions. You should re-attempt after the next 30 set of chest compressions.